Bob in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Actually, it's Bob since 1981. See more better here with freeprescriptionlenses.com since, since I can't think of a better name than see more better. But, uh, but call me Mo. Mo better because I may be seeing Mo better, looking Mo better, and show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses when I cut your RX Crizal Alize lenses for one of my favorite brands. Not a lot of people know about it. It is the Ultim 220. Comes in a larger than average case because... And of course, right on top, you get junk mail in every possible language imaginable. Because um, you need that in your life right now. You get... I'll get back... I'll get back to you on that. But this is the frame. Let me take it out of the packaging as it comes. By the way, now is a good time to mention, please recycle all the contents that come in here. There's a lot of plastic and paper that comes in here, so just don't throw it in your landfill. But this is the Ultim 220 Color 7. This is a tortoise color. That's why I was holding it up to the light so you could see the tortoise aspects of it. I don't know if my camera is good enough to pick that up. But this is the Ultim 220 Size 50 with a 20 bridge color 07 which is the 7m which is the tortoise there's also a color 2 and it's a 140 temple length ultim is a tr90 type of plastic it is a very flexible plastic material super lightweight and the nice thing about it there's a metal core that runs through the middle of that plastic you can adjust the temples on these yourselves anyone with hand-eye coordination let me get it back in standard alignment there we go so this is when normally I use heat to adjust a plastic frame. There's a metal piece in the back so you can adjust it yourself. It has the stylish keyhole bridge. But the thing that makes the Ultim frames, the Ultim, the type of plastic is also called Ultim, but this company, Thema Optical, who produces it, called the brand, the type of plastic that it is, Ultim, U-L-T-E-M. But what I love about this frame, it comes with four clip-ons. Let me take everything out. There is a yellow nighttime fog. It's also known as a shooter's yellow. Skiers like it. It has an anti-glare clip with blue blocking ability for that can go over your lenses. There is a green mirror from Revo. It is a polarized lens with a green mirror coating on top of that and then there is the regular gray polarized and the way you can tell if a polar lens is polarized you should be able to see through them when they are over each other but when you hear the term polar opposites meaning you rotate at 90 degrees it'll block the light from coming in that's how you can test if a lens is polarized if you already have one polarized lens you can test the second one but they all clip right on you've got the gray polarized you've got the yellow lens you've got the anti-glare you've got the green mirror and it's a rare earth magnet. They're so strong they can put all four on there, even though you don't need to. But on really bright days, let me take everything off. You can put the gray polarized on there. And if for really bright days, put the green mirror on top. The purpose of the mirror is not just to look cool. That's an added benefit. The, these lenses absorb the sun's rays. A mirror reflects it back, making it feel... 20 to 30 percent darker i hate using air quotes but uh, it's like saying it's uh, it's raining outside but if you have an umbrella it's going to feel dry <laughs> you know, so, you know so not exactly a 100 percent true statement so but anyway that's it let me go ahead and again i'm going to wrap everything back up as it came and just recycle what you don't use the other nice thing about these clips if you have more than one vehicle keep this clip in your car Keep this one in your second car, your spouse's, or your second car, your motorcycle bag, anything out on the deck where you sit a lot. And that way you've got prescription sunglasses no matter what car you're in. Think of this as your seatbelt. When you get in the car, put on the clip, put on your seatbelt. When you get out of the car, take off your clip, take off the seatbelt, leave it in the console or somewhere else in there. And the nice thing they've started doing... They have a sleeve so when you're out and about and you have a clip with you and you take it off you don't want to put it in your pocket and risk scratching it or anything else you can put your slide these in there and carry it with you and that way it's always protected against opticians and things in your pockets <laughs> let me take that out see they knew that there'd be an optician like me who's just ready to drop something so they they gave you that so all right, let's begin. Let's begin, shall we, before I break something else? 
the, I'm going to program the shape into the computer. You are Secret Agent 2757. I'm going to pop out the original demo lenses that come in the frames. Put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker and hit start. A little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy any genuine, authentic Ultim frame that I offer or any frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number on there so if you have vision insurance or health or health savings account flex dollars you will get reimbursed for your purchase now you get the full reimbursement from your hsa flex card you will get your out of network reimbursement because i do not accept any insurances so i'm going to move on to the next screen it tells me to enter your pupillary distance which is 68 divided by 2 is 34 so i'm going to hit the plus button three times it goes up in half millimeter increments till we get to 34 i'm going to raise the oops come back down i need to hit that box Raise the optical center up two millimeters to 24. And actually, you know what? Just because this is a little deeper round shape, let's do 24.5. Let's go two and a half because I'm a wild man today. So, your lenses that, as I explained to him, I called and I said, normally when he upgraded to the Crozal Alize, usually when the um, you see me take a lens out of a paper packet, that is known as a stock lens. His astigmatism correction, which is actually the majority of his prescription, is over two diopters. And so they have to custom make the lenses one pair at a time. The stock lenses I get go up to a two sil, which is abbreviation for cylinder, which also is just another name for your astigmatism correction. And so that's why there's no paper product, products, or paper paddocks, pack, packets. <laughs> but you still get the was all cleaning cloth. I want to go home. So, it's Father's Day weekend. I need to get these shipped to him so he can enjoy Father's Day. So, let's spin the axis wheel to 180, which today will be played by the understudy of zero because a straight line is zero to 180. I'm pointing at the top of this card. The X meridian is zero to 180. The Y meridian is 90 and 270. So, it's a le easier to put zero than 180 there's a 170 but yeah they start back over at zero at Z if I were speaking proper English if I was anything proper <laughs> so put the axis wheel on Plano make sure everything's centered it is put the lens in rotate into the spherical component of your prescription comes into view first and actually because it's Plano on the 180 it's hard to get this thing centered let me do that because it has no power in one meridian. So we're at Plano. Let me check the axis. I mean the astigmatism correction. Minus 250. So I know I'm in the right place. Put three dots on your lenses. And let's turn it around this way. So I know that'll be the right lens. I'm going to put an aura. As we say here in North Carolina on the right lens. Let's do the same thing for the left. Minus a quarter. Minus two at 178. Spin the axis wheel two degrees to 178. Put the power drum on minus a quarter. Rotate the lens until the spherical component comes into view first. Find the optical center of your lens. Minus a quarter. Minus two and a quarter. Okay, we're good to go. How come it's never go to good? Put three dots on your lenses. Put an L on here, which is Latin for not right. And again, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. <laughs> so, what am I doing? What am I doing? Let's use these two. I always put a couple aside earlier today to make sure they're not wet and they don't slip. So this is the block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it's cutting. So I needed a, a double-sided sticker, of which the black side is the sticky side. I'm going to stick that on the first one. Do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. I'm going to line up the magnet. Well, that silver button on the back is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck of the arm. And the reason why I put those three dots on there, it tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly. The blue cross is the geometric center of your frame. I'm going to be looking at that orange crosshair. Your eye is just above that and inset. 
So I'm gonna get everything lined up there, just like that, kids. See what I'm doing, kids? Pay attention. See what I'm doing there? Getting it lined up like that. Hit that button, the arm comes down and places the block onto the right lens. Now we're gonna do the same thing now for the unright lens. Same PD, same optical center height, same bat channel, same technique to pull the paper away to make the black side sticky, line up the magnet. Oh, there it is. Um, <laughs> I already lost the lens. I've lost my mind, now I lost that lens. So, tell you, this one's fun. When the clown gets to laugh at work, it's a good day at work. Get everything lined up just perfectly. Hit that button, the arm comes down, places the block onto the left lens. Now this is the tracer, this is the blocker, this is known as the edger. This is what's going to edge your lens down from this size to the actual final size. This wheel in the center is going to act like a heavy grit sandpaper. It's a diamond crusted wheel. It's going to grind away your lens material to the final size. This wheel in the center is going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I'm going to wake up the computer. This is job ID number 2757. I need to get that hemmed a little bit. That's hanging down low. 2757, or as I like to say, uh, installment 2757 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. Now, spoiler alert, stay tuned to watch episode number 330 million, because something crazy is going to happen. <laughs> so, these are polycarbonate lenses. Let, would you... The magnet was grab hold. Look at that, the paper clip. These things are good. Look at that. Look at that. Those crazy magnets, like a bear full of monkeys. Who doesn't like that? So, these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that. I can't select glass because I don't have the cutting wheel in here. The software tells me that, but what I do love is the TBD, to be determined later. So, what great space age material will that be? But we're going to stick with polycarbonate. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to place a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens. Press the sticker on there firmly. Now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck, or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. Hit the green start button, the door closes, the clamp shuts, making a very awful sound. <laughs> and uh, it's going to move up and be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the, the lens is large enough to fit into the right side of the frame. And then on the second go around, it's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you will have none with your prescription in this frame. Well, when I say none, it might be minimal. <laughs> but your prescription has higher than average astigmatism, or as I like to call it, crazy stigs. That's all your prescription is. Take away that one step of nearsighted correction, but you have the rest. Of, you got no prescription for distance. Now, the water in background is running to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry meaning that no water is sprayed onto the lens while it is cutting. Unlike plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex, they cut wet, meaning the water sprays onto that lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now, water will spray onto your lenses, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris that you saw beginning to form on your lenses. But your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lens material, the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel, from flying debris. It also has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive, so it's like permanent sunscreen for your eyes. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun, there in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. What a name. Now, if you notice, your lens is completely flat around the edges, just like a nickel. If I were to take it out now, it would stand up on the counter. It's now getting the V-shaped bevel applied to it. But you also got the anti-glare, which I highly recommend on any lens, but especially for people who have the medical condition known as crazy stigs. <laughs> now, uncorrected astigmatism 
makes sixes and eights look alike with the leader letters P and F, but it also makes driving at night no fun, no bueno. The light comes in, you get a terrible halo effect, or it looks like spikes coming out in every direction. This will be reduced with the anti-glare coating. It's three features of one. The first feature reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain. And Bob, since 1981, knows what I'm talking about. But also from street lights, stop lights, and computer screens. Now, it also is, uh, reduces reflection. So when someone's looking at you, they're less likely to see the reflection in your lens. So it makes for much better eye contact. The other thing, hang on, I'm getting a text I'm just going to read. Let me just say no um, send okay the so it makes for much better eye contact when someone's not looking at their reflection in your glasses it also less likely to see the phone if you are if you're taking a selfie or if someone takes a picture of the flash you're less, less likely to see the flash light up in your lens but after talking with Bob since 1981, he's having to do a, he works in IT and is having to do a lot of Zoom meetings during this uh, COVID pandemic. And he just sees the reflection in his lens. So that's going to be greatly reduced. And of course, you've even got an additional layer of support for that. So I'm going to tuck this in at the outside corner, press down at the nose. It snaps right in as easy as can be. Easy peasy. Flip that over to L, place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, the Chuckarama, or today I'm calling it the Bob, the Bob Win, the Bob since 1981. By the way, for those of you keeping score at home, I've been cheating death since 1966. And uh, that, <laughs> that streak will come to an end tonight on my way home. But don't worry, I'll get these in the mail first. So, let's go ahead and hit the start button. The door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens is being traced again by the two styluses, this time making sure the this lens is large enough to fit into the left side. And you can see as it's going around tracing the shape. And then measuring the thickness to know where to place the bevel for you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Of which, Bob, you got nothing. You got no edge thickness there. But the reason why I put the safety bevel on there, I want the back of the lens to be smooth so that when I press the lens, into the frame. I don't want any sharp edges coming in contact with your frame. So I'm going to take the block off, pull the sticker away, use my hand approved technique for drying the thing, add to my sticker collection. I'm proud of this. This is my <laughs> sense of accomplishment. So when I cut 167 lenses, they stink, so I spray that so I don't have to smell it. But this is my sense of accomplishment pile. Some people look in their bank account. I'm more of a clutter based person. I like to keep this around to remind myself of my accomplishments. So, we're going to come down here to the lensometer, spin the axis wheel back to 180, which again will be played by the part of zero tonight. Put it in over that black dot. And I am getting a million. No, I'm getting, uh, where's, that's what I'm looking for. I'm getting zero, Plano. PL, the abbreviation for Plano, which is a city in Texas, but we in the optical world use that as denomination for zero so you need no far-sighted or near-sighted correction your prescription for the right eye is all astigmatic so as i mentioned earlier uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look like the letters p and f so you need no magnification nor minification but you do need 10 steps two and a half diopters of astigmatic correction and when we check that power we're at minus 250, exactly halfway between two and three. Now your left eye, you need the smallest amount of nearsighted correction. You have minus, excuse me, farsighted. You are nearsighted. So you need one step of farsighted correction, but then two steps of astigmatic correction. And we're gonna end up with a final power of two and a quarter. Now this last number could be anywhere from zero and 180, but uh, that just tells me where to orient things. The first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. Now. The Ultim 220 sells for $200 with the four clips included. The Crozal Alize adds $79.99 for a total of $279.99. You know, I can add that up in my head. I don't want to brag or anything, but I can do that. Now, I always point out, I like to point out now that all purchases are tax free. I, they always have been, but everyone on the internet is having to charge tax. 
now. I don't because I am in North Khaki Lackey, also known by its uh, earlier name of North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device and no tax is collected on medical devices. So that's why I am currently tax free. All right, Bob, since 1981, I want you to open the door with your mind. Good job, Bob. First day on the job and you're doing it right. You're doing it and doing it and doing it well. All right, so dry everything off. Ooh, a little optical sawdust there. Remove that from your, I love, like the lint trap in the dryer. I love it when it comes off in one piece. And then go to put it in the trash can, but stumble and drop it on the floor. <laughs> so we're going to do that. Where's your frame? There it is. All right. My wife is shaking her head at this point. Why do you drop stuff on the floor? Why? 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 <laughs> that is, uh, my wife's voice is actually much deeper than that. No. Okay. So. I'm going to um, take that off and uh, yeah, you know that. All right, stick that on there. Okay, come down here. I was thinking of another joke, but I'm not going to tell it because it's mean and offensive and I'm not going to do it on Juneteenth Day 19, well, 2020. And I thought about that because of Tulsa, Oklahoma on Juneteenth, but yeah, no, we're, st we're, we're staying away from politics, but the um, don't want to offend anybody with my bad humor. So, and it's not even race related, it was, it was wife related. And uh, you know, the other race will eventually forgive you for a bad joke, the wife, never. They will never forgive you. And uh, I don't wanna sleep on the couch. So, let's read the first power. We're getting minus a quarter, one tick mark away from zero into the red minuses, not the black plus, the red minuses. Let's read the second curvature of your lens. So you have a minus a quarter this way you have two doppers steeper this way 90 degrees apart and that's how we line those two meridians up to make everything nice and crisp and we're at minus two and a quarter going away from two going towards three now drum roll please pd of 68 optical center height of 24.5 turn the card around place the pd stick against my thumb and when i read on the left lens, we're getting 68 millimeters. Now, not to the bottom of the lens, but to the middle of the plastic at the deepest point. Look at that, 24 and a half. 24 and a half. Man, the kit is good. Now, all of what I'm doing is known as final inspection. I make sure the lenses are correct, the prescription is cut correct, the PD, the optical center. The last thing I do is get it in standard alignment also known as a three-point stance. By the way, this is the point in every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned that there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. and its territories. But when you get these in the, in the mail, Bob, since 1981, there is a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm gonna get them in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, I'm part of that 80%. When I take my glasses off, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Now, because of that statistic, that 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments. Just go on in. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses perfectly. Now, if these slide down your nose, you at home can tighten these behind. There's a metal core in here, and you can move it back and forth. A novice can do it. That's what I love about these Ultims. Now, I'm going to flip this over, press down, make sure there's no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do that neither temple is askew. Now, Again, these frames are great. They come with more than one clip-on. Keep one in uh, the spouse's car. Keep one in your car. Keep one in your motorcycle bag. Keep one in your helicopter. Keep one in your underground evil lair, or even better yet, your um, underwater submarine so you can make your getaway. <laughs> Although I guess you won't need sunglasses in a, in a submarine. So yeah, put it in your, um, your private Learjet. Put the other one in your public Learjet. And then a third one in your semi-private public Learjet. Because who has more than, who has just one jet nowadays? Everyone has more than one. So, do.
do me a favor like this video subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already click the subscribe button so you can see me be silly with other frame and lens combinations as they become available you can follow me on facebook and instagram as free prescription lenses on twitter as free rx lenses if you have any questions just go to the contact me page of the website you can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below now i also send i send out a selfie request in every package i would love to have your selfie on there and uh, I also send out cleaning instructions, not only for your frame and your lenses, but for the premium microfiber cloth that I provide, your Crizal cleaning cloth, and instructions on how to care for your case. Not this case, but future Ray-Ban case. He wants to get a Ray-Ban frame from me next, and that will apply to that. This one is a, a mesh fabric, so I'm not sure exactly how to clean it. But I also field test every cleaning cloth before I ship to make sure that it cleans. So when you get these in the, in the mail, Bob, Oh, manufacturer calling me on WhatsApp. If you see a wrinkle in the cloth, you know that it works because I've already pre-tested it. So, it's got all my social media on there. So, if you ever take a selfie, you can hashtag me at Free Prescription Lenses. I would appreciate that. But Bob, Bob since 1981 is his last name. In Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. I love that name too. You can uh, thank you so much for the purchase of the Ultim 220 with the four magnetic clip-ons for $200 and your Corzal Alizé add-on. And now hopefully everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.